Good morning everybody, this is Shah and this is the card for the 11th of June 2020. The car, the day card. Okay, the coyote, we have the coyote number 12 and look at its eyes, isn't it beautiful? In one way she looks really beautiful and those eye looks like eyeliner she has around her eyes. <coughs> So, um, what I'm trying to say is don't be fooled by somebody's exterior and don't judge somebody from the outside. Uh, know what is on the inside. This is the coyote looks a lot like the wolf and the fox and it is from that family. So the message for me today is be aware of sly, analytical, smooth uh, people and smooth talkers. And on the other hand, don't um, forget. Remember who you are. Work vigilantly digi uh, and uh, precisely. Cross your T's and dot your I's. This could be that you might have to work to deadline. Now I'm going to go into depth of the coyote, but that is my message for you today. And coyote is a wild animal, so. Be a little bit wild. Don't be scared. A fox or a coyote or a wolf isn't scared. They go for what they want. Okay? And number 12, 1 and 2 is 3. So be creative. Be daring. Don't doubt yourself. Have faith and trust in yourself. Okay? So work vigilantly and directly and precisely. That's the message in short from me. Now I'm going to go into it because this card is by uh, Colette Baron Reed and she writes um, about the coyote. The coyote is a symbol of the sacred, sacred trust, trust trickster. Sorry, I'm stumbling over my words today. Never mind, we all have one of these days. <laughs> the one who provides detours for growth and understanding by ensuring <coughs> that things don't go as planned. So there might be somebody around you, like I said, this card looks a lot like the wolf or the fox, like in the Lenaman. So somebody might be trying to stir up things so what you've planned won't happen. The coyote brings en the energy of divine deception to send you free from the shackles of what <coughs> or of that which doesn't serve you. So the coyote can free you, is sent to you to free you from something that you don't need. Like you can't drag a dead horse with you, okay? That makes the journey only heavy and burdensome. Sometimes it appears that you will get everything you want, only to find that the coyote brings you the opposite of what you hoped for, so be careful what you wish for. Um, and not everything is as it seems. The lessons offered by the coyote may at first appear confusing, but they are most sacred and always for your highest good. So the coyote <coughs> has come in today to show you to let go of the old and to be um, observant and uh, to be aware that everything that s sparkles or glistens or if anything sounds too good to be true, it most probably isn't. Now the invitation or task that you can do is, if the coyote calls to you, this is the time to pay special attention to detours and disappointments as they are true tests of faith. You have set your intentions and turned them over to the Great Spirit, the Divine of course for some. Yet you may find yourself lost and confused when it appears to you are being led of course. Of course the path leading to your most cherished dreams or wishes and desires. Remember this. Coyote is a sacred trickster, 
and may be leading you into challenges to ensure you that you are ready to handle what you've set you in motion. Great growth and understanding come to you when they, that coyote calls your name. So, yes, you will get better understanding and growth if you have learned from the past. We, all our lives exist from valleys and mountains, ups and downs. So, think back, what did you do and what have you learned from the last difficult period in your life? Did you wish for something and it didn't come out because it wasn't the right time or the right thing? Did you wish for something that sparkled and you got it and it wasn't the sparkle that you thought it had? So you go back to that situation and see what you have learned. And then you can handle this situation with ease and expertise and experience. And that is what our journey does in our life. It brings things back and see whether we've learned from it from the past. I hope you have a beautiful day and in stay safe and stay healthy. Love Cybermum. And please join us on YouTube on Charlie's Angel Tarot. I love you all. Take care and be blessed.